Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a reactive web application with Spring Security. So for this first I'm going to go to start.sprint.io, uh, select project type Gradle, and just copy with the latest version. For the dependency, I'm going to use web reactive web. I'm going to use R2DBC for creative database support. I'm going to use MySQL as my backend database support. And of course, Spring Security. So generate the project and open it with your favorite IDE. I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA. This is what you're going to get. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to uh, add the database configuration over here. First, I'm going to change it to YAML file. And in here, I'll add the dependencies, sorry, uh, database configuration. So this is my database, database in demo, and username and password. So this will be defined for your system. Next, first, uh, let me show. Uh, first, uh, I have created a table uh, called app user. This is the security user. Uh, so here, uh, put basic information like username, password, and role. So this password is a bkit password. Uh, you can create it very easily uh, with one method call. So from here, you, you can create a method like, uh, sorry, call the bkit function call method like this. And whatever your password, I have put 123456. So run the application. And it will generate this password, which you can put in your database. And that's exactly what I have done. And uh, my DDL is very simple uh, is this ID, email, password, rows, all text. Level and uh, again, data that I have put is this uh, ID in a password and role user. Role user. Okay, next, first, let's create the data class. So, my data class will be app user and simple quiz. Similar to the database, mark it with table and ID mark it with ID. That's my data class. Next, in a repository. Is going to extend reactive root repository so that I have user ID type long. I'm going to need one method to find user by email or username, whatever you prefer. So that's it. And take the email as input, and you will get. Mono of that user response. Okay, it was very done. Now let's enable the security in our application. Mark it with enable web plus security. And in here, going to this annotation, and in here you will see this part the security filter chain. So just copy paste it.
the here uh, I'm gonna add a very simple plot matcher uh, to show both uh, secured and insecure URL. The simple public will be security free so anyone can access. Everything else will be uh, authenticated by Spring Security. So just a simple thing. Uh, next, I have to mention the password encoder type I have. Uh, I'm going to use. <clears throat> Sorry, so that's it for the security configuration. Next, we have to write the code to get the information from the database uh, user detail service. So, in this case, it's going to be a reactive user detail service, uh, pretty similar to reactive user detail service. So, let's do that. This is going to take uh, the component first. And uh, I'm going to inject the repository here, get the user uh, from the database. And it's going to implement the reactive user detail service. Of course, I have to implement the method. It's pretty same in non reactive version, but here it's just uh, mono. Anyway, so here uh, first I have to create a app user specific uh, string user. Uh, you can put any name for this. I'm going to give name it uh, custom user, which is going to take uh, app user input and make it a uh, spring security user so implement the user uh, sorry extend the user this is a uh, spring security user and uh, let's uh, initiate the constructor with our our app user information uh, first is email as the username and uh, then password and uh, authorities. Okay. And also it's going to implement the user details. Uh, So that's very quick. And uh, finally, uh, this is uh, not mandatory. You can get this information uh, from the database. But for simplicity sake, I'm gonna override everything uh, regarding to the security, like uh, is enabled, this account not expired. Let me just show you. Okay. So this thing are uh, normally you get from the database. But to make it simple. I'm simply going to return uh, true for all this. The introduction system will get it from the database. Okay, so now we just have to uh, all this. We'll find by email, provide the username here. And, uh, so we have to get for sure and uh, just map it with our this custom user and pass it on whatever we get. So that's it for the user detail service. Uh, you got the reactive part. And uh, finally, let's test it with a REST controller. So, REST controller will be very simple. Controller and uh, let's mark it with first controller. So we 
means it will function. I'm going to return private content. And uh, mark it with get mapping. Put the URL to private. The for public cannot be seen. Okay, so that's it for the. So this is uh, again uh, here just to show um, that this public is uh, authenticated, so you can anyone can access it, and only everything else uh, like this private will be authenticated only. Uh, so okay, so that's it uh, for our application. Now we can run this. I'm opening Postman to test it out. Application is running. And uh, let's do a get request to public. This should not happen. This is a beam. Sorry about that. <laughs> now let's restart the application. This time it should work without any problem. Okay, so I'm getting 200 and public content, but if it is private or anything else for that matter, then I'm going to get 401. And uh, to get result, you have to set the uh, basic authentication which we have uh, configured over here basic auth you can uh, use uh, other things as well no problem so here uh, as the password mentioned on the data list uh, as you can see this the job and password is 123456 so that's what i have put and if i send it now i will get 200 and get the private content so that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment below. Um, I will upload the code in the GitHub and post the link at the video description. So that's all. Have a nice day. Bye bye.